Yo, you old. You don't get it. I'm not old. You don't get it. You ain't I never got a lap dance. Is, okay. You ain't never got a lap dance. Did you hear what he said? I understand. You ain't never got a lap dance. You don't have a personal relationship with you when you got to a lap dance. Oh, look, you don't understand. You don't understand. You better house party. You don't understand, bro. Like, you don't understand, bro. This era of music is what I be telling you, you missed. I was outside. No, you weren't. No, you he don't know no Rich Kid songs. He don't know no Travis Porter. He know Ain't I. Oh, he know Ain't I because Ain't I was too big to ignore. I don't know Travis Porter. All right, I ain't going to play with you. You know Travis Porter. Oh, okay. Everybody knows Travis Porter. Okay. <laughs> All right, whatever, whatever. This music was the music. This is the music that people in my age group were like seeking out, digging for. Every time he dropped. Dro drop anything that was dropped around like 2009, 2008 party fun music when y'all all be like, y'all be like, oh, the kids they don't dance no more. But we was just dancing. I was just in middle school, bro. We was just dancing, turn up at the parties, bro. Right. Fresh out of Pampers. Thank you for coming and sitting with us. Yes, thank you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Super, super, super elated to be here, my brother. I seen you don't even really do interviews like that. Like I was looking trying to find a bunch of interviews. It's not that many. So is that on purpose? No, nah, that's not true. It's just you got to think, um, you got to look what's going on in the industry and technology and social media now. Mm. It's just it's just easier to reach. It's easier to just get on the backdrop, have somebody ask you questions, uh -huh. load the shit up, put it all over the internet, control the narrative of your interview, and you get to pick how you want to put yourself, position yourself in front of your fans. Back then, bro, like, we talking about a record. We, over 35 million views right now. We are pushing four times platinum on that record. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, hold on, hold on, hold on. my man just said that. Oh, four times platinum. Like yeah, say but, that again. I'm saying it to say like um, if a record like Ain't I was to come out today, I mean you talking about a record that um definitely transcended through generations in time. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I just was in an after hour spot last night and I came on and it was just like it just came out yesterday. It comes on, yeah. it's in a club every time. It's in regular it, it, rotation. It's so, regular. So, so, so what I'm saying with that is like, um, think of Ain't I right now coming out in the streaming era. Mm -hmm. It's doing numbers. It'd be crazy. I feel like yeah. I, you know, the, the reach is different. I feel mm -hmm. like I'd be way bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like you, I'd be way bigger. Did you catch the I tail am the biggest, of, but I still feel like I would be way bigger. Did you catch the tail end of the ringtone era? Did you did yeah, they see, not get that? That okay. was my era. I made money off ringtone. Okay. I came right behind Dro um after all his success on um, Gold album on uh the best thing smoking. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the know. best debut albums you ever gonna find from the city. Yes, yeah, sir, that's my brother, like original flavor. Like when you talk about Atlanta, um, Bro, I'm the one who, I wasn't scared to pipe it. <laughs> no. It was them. They was on the sideline watching. I did it. You sure. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I did it uncomfortably. I did it in, you know, however you felt about it. it you know, I came up watching MCs like Missy Elliott and Busta Rhymes. And it was like, right. let's yes. talk about Come it. Come on, Phoenix. Okay. Talk about I mean, it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, if you're an artist, we talking originality. We talking, we talking authentic. Yeah. Now, do I consider myself authentic? Yeah, because I'm listening to the sound of the music today, and I'm like, damn. If I pop back out, I don't even got to change my sign on my dress code. Not really. No. no. All I got to do is be Leela and Austin. That's what I told them from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, I was futuristic. I taught them how to dress. I taught them how to go skinny. Yeah. I taught them all the things that, you know, people wasn't really um, embracing mm -hmm. at that time. Different artists and peers. I came out in the uh, trap era. So right. I came out yeah. after Gucci and T.I. But let's so, talk yeah. about it. Uh, now, I'm just going to go on your, on, your dress, on your dressing. Because if you coming right after trap music and then here you come with it. <laughs> so, 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 after coming off, off of trap, that's being hood, gangster, uh -huh. like music. Yeah. And then right. here you come, you know, kind of on the black boy, white boy. Yeah. How did, how did that happen? Like, what, what made you not get into like oh gangster music i gotta be extra hard i gotta do i gotta be a little bit more flamboyant isn't the word but you gotta be you, you came Perfect. out a little colorful. bit more colorful it was you had the mohawk you know you had the oh, rock gonna, star yeah, we're gonna talk about that you had all of and that the and, sunglasses. and the glasses let's not, no. let's not talk about the sunglasses yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, forget, don't forget the sunglasses I'm, okay. I'm, i mean um Somebody tried to say like um I was I did an interview and they was telling me about Lil B um and they oh, brought yeah. him to oh, my wow. recognition but I didn't I didn't know who I, when I, it wasn't that fun I was, he was like you know Lil B and I was like who is Lil B mm -hmm. and um he said well this was one of the guys who really came in and created you know wearing the jeans skinny mm -hmm. and then I said no I beg to differ I said just go watch <laughs> the futuristic love video I had mm -hmm. on peach skinnies with vans on mm -hmm. but they told me look you know this I was doing this in oh eight oh nine so yeah. My thing is being a creator and being original is where is the game? Okay, I can't come out and do what this guy's doing. I can't come out and do what that guy's doing. 
I got to go and stay true to myself and what I'm doing. You know, the Mohawk was in Thomasville. I had that 2007, 2006 as a kid walking around the project. I didn't feel like I needed to be hard because I'm from Thomasville Heights. Mm -hmm. And Atlanta housing projects, like, That's this is one did. of the... You want, it's one way in and one way out. So mm -hmm. what I'm telling you is, like, I seen it all. So it was like, when you really from that and you really, like, had to overcome them, also, you don't really glorify that. Like, that's lame to me. Like, you know, in my Zone 3 area, we'll call you a lame. Like, because you can't be from this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because right. we tried to make our situations better and we tried to evolve and we tried to, you see what I'm saying, um, take ourselves to a different levels. So, you know, um, Definitely, definitely. LA, we gonna, can we hold you for a few? Oh, we, 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 we got, we got, we got. We got, 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 uh, four minutes, and uh, we'll be right back with more Young LA on News and Talk 1380 WALK.